Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing FTV1. And uh, we're out here heading on towards uh, towards some new chunks. And the reason is, you might remember last time we uh, we checked out Ars Elemental, an add-on for Ars Nouveau. We didn't finish checking it out. There's more to it. Uh, there are two little buddies, like our friend the Whirly Sprig here behind us um one of which i'm very interested in it's called the siren i guess it'll give us like you know aquatic drops i kind of feel like the drigme already does that but <laughs> i do want to check out the siren we can never have enough little buddies but there's only one problem with my plan there and uh, i don't know where to find the sirens i assume in the water I don't know what to give to them to get them to drop their shard. And I don't know how they work once we have that. I guess that's more than one problem. But they kind of amount to one problem, which is that I don't know what I'm doing. And you figure the best place is going to be the water. At least that's what I figure. Um, but who knows where? And they could theoretically be in chests, right? Let's, uh, where's our underwater? Oh, did I get rid of it? I won't drown down here if we're not careful. Oh no, not the lag. Ooh, fancy. 5.1 armor toughness, that's, oh, and there's another one. Who needs oxygen? Slipstream, okay, base mining speed, we'll take that. And you know, I'm just I'm just gonna collect all of these things and only use the same, like, couple of tools and armor, but you know. The getting is a goal in itself. Well, we checked through all kinds of ocean ruins and shipwrecks and buried treasure and nothing so far. We're out here in a in a frozen ocean, but uh, no luck here. Whoa! I don't know if there are lions in this. Are they friendlies? No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Well, great. Oh, we got a triple chester here. Let's see if we can find some artifacts. We can get rid of this stuff. Let's see. We got a uh, scroll. More whirly sprig shards. Can never have too many. We got flawless slips. So it's 30% mining speed. Okay. And some crap. <laughs> it's all valuable. It's just I have so much of most of it. A um, couple more scrolls. Why not? Alright, nothing too exciting in that one. Always looking for stuff on the map, and like, these chickens now spawn in the world. So, that's interesting. I think the only ocean we haven't checked is a warm one. It was 6,000 blocks away from where we were, and we're heading there. Um, if this thing is findable, I want to find it. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's like another world grove down there. I was like, why is there a tree? Oh, that's why. Alright, we're out in the warm ocean. Got like some ruins with some drowns. What's that over by that squid? Aha! There she be. What would you like? Would you like some coral? No. Would you like a sea pickle? Yes! That was a vi- hey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a legit guess. That was, that was a very lucky guess. Okay, sea pickles. I wonder if it's just sea pickles or like any underwater thing I wonder if there's maybe another one 
Like who? Oh, you're a. Uh, we don't have a puffer fish, I don't think. Let's make a bucket. Now watch, we'll have a puffer fish back at the pygmy set up. Okay, I spotted uh, at least one more. Maybe two. How about seagrass? You like a seagrass? No, they don't like a seagrass, so I bet it's only sea pickles. And we'll grab a purple one. Wonderful. Now, I guess the next question is where are we going to put a sylph thing? What is it going to be? What will it look like? What's her range? Her sylph. Siren. Hmm. I would imagine that her range is the same as the Drigmy and the Whirly Sprigs. So, nine in each direction will probably go. Well, we'll see how much room we have out here. I guess we're going to do it right here. Um, I don't know where else to put it. And they definitely go up. Now, I feel like the docks always say they go up by nine. I'm not sure that's true. But I feel like nine by six. Nine by, well, I mean, 16 by 16 by six is really what we're talking about. How much room do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we have just barely enough room. I wonder if we should build it out into the river. Alright, let's think about this. If we had it back... Oh, hello. What do you have? Distracted already. One of these bone splitters. Yeah, okay. We were to go have it start here, right? One, so that would be, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here. What we're gonna do we're not going to go out as far as I thought we were going to go. We should have 7. So this should be 15 by 15 on the inside. Now, I started to lay out the tank here, but it occurred to me. <laughs> I Before we go too wild with that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make the charm or whatever it's called. Just uh, three source gems, three of any fish. One of the big prismarines. Throw it in there. Maybe? Yes? Okay. Seems like it didn't like it for a second. So there it is. Now let's see. Not a manatee. Maybe the advancements will tell us what to do with this thing. Which one could it be? Let's see, this one? Yeah. So I figure there are a couple of obvious options, like maybe coral, right? Yeah. What about the fans? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. What about a sea pickle? What about that? Hmm. See, what we're trying to, to get is this thing here. And it's not obvious how to get it. It's probably in the advancements, but you know, I can't, I can't find it. <laughs> All right, I think I might have figured it out. Um, we are going to want 
Yeah, this looks good. We're gonna want some of this. And I've also got some of this uh, polished connected clear glass from Cyclic, which is just four glass and a two by two. It's not hard to make. Dug it out here somewhat. I'm gonna get it together. Okay. So it's probably either prismarine, dark prismarine, or a sea lantern. And is that the... No, this is the middle right here. So we're going to start with prismarine, because that's the cheapest. Oh, -ho! there. Okay, we can see there's an aquarium bonus of zero right now, because we got nothing. Now, if we were to put down some coral... Still says bonus is zero, so she's not gonna be very happy. What about the fans? Are you a fan fan? Not really. So let's go ahead over here to our friend the Drigme. Take a little water. Now we have some fish in here that are already named. Oh, <laughs> rabbit tried to scarper. We also have Squiddy the Squid. Come here. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job. Where's a puffer fish? I'm catching you. Crying out loud. Alright, we got Sam the Salmon. There you are. Okay, now we have an aquarium bonus of 12. What if we were to put down some sea pickles? Aquarium bonus of 12. <laughs> Yeah, I see a lot of 12. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, what about kelp? And seagrass and all that kind of thing. Okay, I tried a couple different things. Looks like, looks like it's all about fish. These source jars waterlog. That's nice. I don't know what the range is on the relay, but I'll bet it's not this far. Um, I'm gonna make another relay. Now we already have this relay over here, right? Get, oh my gosh, get out of the way. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down right here. And where's our wand? We. All right, if everybody out of the way here. We're gonna break this, and I'll bet that'll, excuse me, reset the, the relay. Yeah, no send location set. So we're gonna take our Dominion Wand. Oh, no take location set, that's not what we wanted to do. Um, sending, so position set. Position set, and we're gonna set that. Here. Oh, you know what? We want a splitter. We want another splitter. Okay, here's a source relay splitter set to take from the jar. We're going to set it, I hope, to go into this jar. Yep. And also, to this relay, and then this relay, down here to this source. Yep, sure enough. Now we're going to put a chest down. Oh, these waterlogged too. Nice. Okay, still got an aquarium bonus of 36. 
Went to 36 when I put the second salmon in. Codsworth and Billy the Squid don't seem to be having any effect. She got out here somewhere. Somehow, I mean. I did put glass here, right? Yeah. How would she and why would she? Hmm. Is she giving us anything? Not yet. She keeps going. I even dispelled her. Oh no, well maybe she's not going right back to the corner. She was like just in that corner for the longest time. So I dispelled her and right clicked here. We've got uh, 41 now. Now she looks like she's doing something. We added a puffer fish to the mix. We'll see if we can add anything else. Okay, here she goes. It's gonna be fishing loot. Sort of like, uh, what our, our, uh, our industrial foregoing setup over there has given us. So we can increase the chance that we'll get treasure by increasing the aquarium bonus. And I guess we do that with fish. Oh my. I know what this is. This is a witch village from uh, the Hexerai mod. We need to catch us a witch anyway for the Hall of Jerks. And this will have all kinds of useful things in it. Let me clean out my inventory. Yeah, here we go. Nice. X-ray is like a magic mod, and it's got like all this cool stuff we can use decoratively. Plenty of stuff here we can steal, too. These places are great to find. Oh, these are special Hexerai candles, huh? Neat. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Besides, you know, horror and death. There's, oh, the poison. <laughs> Are these all candles? Yeah. Oh, let's see. The cauldrons, candelabras. Guess this is a real way to get in here. I didn't even notice the trap door. Check out another building or two. Oh, herb jars. And uh, I guess that's the end of her. Another altar block. The mahogany. Ooh, crystal ball. Wonderful. Uh huh. A fancy cauldron over here. Definitely stealing that. What's this? Oh, that looks fancy. That looks very fancy. A little farm here. We have, I think, all of these plants already. Grown back uh, with the whirly sprig. Now you can see on the map the size of these places. They are they are very big. There's always a good amount of stuff to steal. Here's a fresh building. What do we got? More of these. These are wonderful. I love these herb jars. Fancy boots. Which is boots? Nice. And another part of the witch's uh, outfit here. What do we got? The robe? Candle? Blood sigil. That sounds important. Anyway, the reason we're out here. Look at the size. Oh, there's another one right over here. <laughs> the reason we're out here. We want quantity of fish. We ought to get tropical, right? I don't know where she's gone. 
I wonder if the puffer fish got her. I wonder if that's possible. Come here, Frank. No, oh, anyway, we didn't get the tropical fish. I was having some kind of like weird lag issue out there. It might be something to do with the uh, the Hexeray villages. It is where we still are in point two. We're not uh, all the way to point four, so we can still expect problems from time to time. Now, fortunately, we got five of these shards, so we can just make another one, put her in there without the puffer fish, and see if she sticks around. Like, you know, like, I know our, our Whirly Sprigs, for instance, could get killed by a Wither Rose, so we've got that sealed off. I wonder if, uh, having the puffer fish in here just loose was a bad idea. Alright, so that'll do it for our little investigation of the siren for now. The next thing I want to try to figure out is the flare cannon. We'll need netherite scrap, two nether bricks, and two fire essence. And a magma block in the middle. We don't need to find one of these. Now, I don't know if there's a... If it will show us what to do with it. No. <laughs> but it's, uh... It's something, I, don't know, I don't suppose we can just put... Oh, yes we can! Okay. Hello. <laughs> can I pick you back up? I'll bet I could with a mob capturing tool. Awesome. Yeah, I was going to put them over with the wheeled walkers, but I think we're going to put them right here at the entrance. And he'll guard this area. And I wonder if I have, I have some back at the house. I'm going to go grab some soul sand real quick because there's something I want to try. Alright, did he run off? Where did he go? He's scarpered. Did he come back over here? Yes, he came back over here. Okay, well, we'll figure out a way to move him soon enough. But I understand we can change the texture. Yeah, wonderful. All right, let's see if we can, uh... Okay, stored. We can set him over here, and I'll come running over here. There's your home. You coming? You're not coming, are you? Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. Yeah, you can go right through the water. You can climb a fence. You can probably fly over it, can't you? Okay. Let's see if we can find him something to shoot at. Hey, buddy. Bye. I love cat slippers. Oh, we got a zombie. Perfect. Come here, you. Oh, he seems like he got over there a lot faster than he's getting over here. I'll give him a minute. Alright, now he's moving along. So if we pop down a zombie, what's he going to do? Okay. Oh, there's like a boss over there. I'll take another shot. Nice. Now I'd like to add some decorative lights out. There she is in the corner again. I want to see if these waterlog. Yes, they do. Very nice. We're going to put some of these in here. One more thing I want out here is from Engineer's Decor. It's this metal rung ladder. And I really like using these in, uh, in more modern or like shop looking builds. Let's get ourselves right in the center here. And it just looks like metal rungs built into the side. It's really nice. For whatever reason, she mostly does just hang out in this corner. I don't think 56 is very high, but uh, slowly but surely, 
We do get a little bit of fishing loot. I don't know if it really competes with the Fisher from Industrial Foregoing, but, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. So the next thing we want to think about are some of those spell focuses that ours elemental adds. Um, not every glyph is has a has a school. Like, well, this has conjuration, um, or maybe they do all have schools. And I was just looking for the wrong thing. Um, oh, that's a mark is red. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we've got Fire, Conjuration. Let's see what the available focuses are. So we've got Summoning. That's interesting. Block Shaping. What else do we have? Okay, so we have a Conjuration, a Summoning Focus, and a Block Shaping Focus from Ars Nouveau itself. But Ars Elemental adds all of these different focuses so let's say let's say we wanted a focus of earth all right i'm changing my mind we're gonna do uh the water focus because i want to check out that watery grave glyph yeah. now we make the lesser focus first that's three gold and three water essence and then a shard of amethyst. No, really? What could we be doing wrong? Imbuement chamber. Okay, that's what we're doing wrong. All right, we'll need to get some more pedestals over here. All right, let's try that again. I've never seen a and in human chamber that uses that many pedestals. It must be unique to the to the add-on mod. But this should work. <laughs> it's gonna take half a mana jar, or source jar, I should say. There we go. One lesser spell focus of water. And then what we want to do is we want to take that and combine it. Okay, this is an enchanting apparatus one. But we'll need a, a mark of mastery, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's even one more. We can just keep corking them from over here and moving them around if we have to. So that's going to take one of each. Well, we should... Uh, how many we have? One, two, three, four. We're gonna need more than that. What else do we need? We need the. We need this anima essence. Okay, there we go. And I had some air essence lying around. Grab all this stuff. And I'll put it all in here. And then we should be able to take. There's the anima essence. One of each of these. There we go. And then what is it? Uh, another. Oh, a wild and tribute. Oh, we gotta go fight another champion. Okay. Yeah, we'll just come over here again and deal with this thing real quick. You didn't see the episode where we fought him the first time. What you do? is you uh, put the brazier down. You put the tablet down. We're going to need to turn our magnet off so that we can throw... Th at least I think we need to throw the magnet off to turn those things... Throw those things in so we can augment the ritual. Then you right-click. It'll consume the items. And then we'll have our guy to fight. There he is. Stand much of a chance against us. Three phases to the fight. We're starting the third phase now. He's gonna charge back up and change form. Now he's got wings. Now he's done. Now he's gonna charge up again. As you can see, he does have a few summons that he does. Deal 
help him up here. Oh, did you break my... I should have grabbed that. I forgot. This guy breaks blocks. <laughs> and, like... He'll, uh... Oh, oh, we got it back. Okay, we had the magnet on and it didn't break. That's, uh, that's good. Alright, now we just use this as the, the old active ingredient. It takes a thousand, so we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna be here for a second. There it is. One mark of mastery. Or, no! Five marks of mastery! Okay! And now I think all we have to do is just one mark of mastery in a pedestal near the uh, enchanting apparatus, and it'll give us our our super full top tier water focus. Now with this, we could we could make a water infused turret. Okay, we might be getting into turrets later, but for now. I'm going to go ahead and equip our spell focus, and we are going to make another spell. What I want is we're going to do a homing projectile, and let's see. We've got Watery Grave, right? Okay, so it just... It will just cause drowning damage. We don't need anything special with it. But we can amplify it twice. We can extend the time quite a bit. And there's more we can do. Um, we could make ourselves one of these enchanter's bangles, right? And then I think we take that, and we can make it into uh, an elemental bangle. So let's go ahead and first we'll make the this ring of potential. Just a dull trinket used for crafting. Okay, we'll have to be careful here because we're messing with, uh, with end crystals. Okay, perfect. Don't want to put that down out here. Two gold blocks and a source gem block. And our ring of potential. That will give us the enchanter's bangle. This will increase our spell damage by, I guess, a random amount. And we could stabilize it by turning it into one of these elemental bangles. We'll need a little powdered snow, but... Uh, I think we have some? What are these? Oh, those are all alleys. Where would I have put the powdered... S okay, I put it in the safe for some reason. Let's go back. And we'll get the powdered snow. And we'll need... A couple of water essence. And we'll throw the ring in. And there's a different one for... Looks like all four elements. There it is. Nice. Now, this is a ring? No, oh, it's a bangle. Okay. Aha. So we'll put it right there. Now, let's go out and drown some jerks. Okay, we got a spider. <laughs> It looks like it's not taking any damage. Let's see who else is around. We got another spider. It hits it all right. But it doesn't seem to care about the drowning. Oh, okay. The drowned def the zombie definitely cared. Let's try the witch. Uh, I don't know. Let's try some of these guys. Let's 
see it like I see particle effects on him. But I don't see him taking damage. Now what about one of these guys? Okay, yeah. These transform into drowns instantly. That's interesting. Drowning a zombie statue does not work. Oh, we got a drowned statue. No fancy pants. Let's see. I want to try it a few more times. Like, let's... Let's hit a creeper. Uh, it hit the, the homing. Took over. It hit the... Oh, hello! <laughs> I'm like, what's the projectile doing? There we go. Yeah, it's like it, it knows it's underwater. Oh, if you hit it twice... Then all of a sudden it does a bunch of damage. That's interesting. The homing projectile looks like it might be a little glitched out. <laughs> we could do something about that. It'll probably bounce around out here forever. Oh, it doesn't know what it wants to do. Ooh, tough guy. Let's see who we have. Oh, we got a tough witch. So we'll hit her with this a bunch of times. And, you know, those baby creepers aren't scared of us at all. Yeah, it looks like the way to do this is a couple of times. The drowned won't drown, though. So... I don't know how... Whoa, what's this effect? We better deal with her. Come on. Alright. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to have much value against zombies. It just turns them into drowned. What's this? Come here. Do I have one of these? A blitz? Let's go home and find out. And I think that's going to about do it for this time, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.